posle dve godine ograničenja zbog pandemije, kalendarski i prvi veliki međunarodni filmski festival Berlinale održan je 73. put u punom kapacitetu. Bez online projekcija, testiranja, karantina, prvi veliki praznik filmske umetnosti u Evropi vratio se u normalne okvire i disao punim plućima, baš kao i 2020. kada je poslednji put u oči pandemije i održan u klasičnom obliku. Bilo je više umetnosti, a manje glamura. Da je po konceptu politički najviše obojen, Belinala je dokazao i ove zime. Festival je protekao u znaku podrške Ukrajini i iranskim disidentima, kao i uhopšenim rediteljima, pa su se crvenim tepihom na trgu Marlene Dietrich vijorile ukrajinske i iranske zastave. I kako to reče prvi čovjek Belinala, Karlo Šatrijan, Tokom deset festivalskih dana, festival je bio glasnik umetnika u otporu sa potvrdom da su ljudska prava, slobode i aktivizam duboko ukorenjeni u njegove temelje. U tom tonu predstavljena je i većina filmova 73. Belinala. Među 19 filmova izrazito angažovanog profila, a koji su bili u glavnom takmičarskom programu Belinala, glavne nagrade pripale su Francuzima, a najveći broj Nemcima. Na čelu žirija bila je glumica Kristen Stewart kao savršena spona između Hollywooda i Evrope. So I am honored and I am overwhelmed to present this year's Golden Bear to Sir Nedimo. Are you crazy or what? It's so, it, it's too much. I'm... I'm not able to to say much, but at first I want to to tell an immense thank you to La Berlinale for welcoming us, welcoming the film. Trend pobede dokumentaraca na velikim festivalima nakon venecijanske mostre preneo si na Berlinale. Angažovani film na Adamantu, francuskog reditelja Nikolasa Filibera, portretiše svakodnevicu i likove iz stvarnog života na brodu smeštenom na Seni u Parizu, gde se nalazi jedinstven plutajući centar za mentalno obolele osobe. Ukrštanjem umetnosti i kreativnosti, sa zdravim razumom i psihičkim poremećajima, ovaj sineasta razvija intiman, emotivan, humanistički pristup priči kojom je želao da promeni sliku o diskriminisanim bolesnicima. Maybe um, the viewers will be um, more numerous. Um, maybe the message of the film will be a little bit listened. Person is perfect. Person is perfect. U Francusku je otišao i srebrni medved za najbolju režiju. Dodeljen je veteranu Filipu Garelu, autoru dokumentarno-fiktivnog porodičnog filmskog testamenta Velika kočija, u kome zamišlja kako bi život i porodični biznis mogli da se nastave i nakon njegove smrti. Vive la revolution iranijena. Tu je dedije mon urs a la femme que j'aime, ki se apela Rivka, ki je avek moa, e a se dos enfants Drasha e Isaac, a mi, mi propos enfants, Esther, Louis, Elena, voilà, qui ont fait ce film pour moi. Mais je voulais surtout euh, dédier euh, le film à, à Jean-Luc Godard, qui, qui est quelqu'un qui est pour nous un très grand maître, pour beaucoup d'entre nous un très grand maître. Ajoutez une assiette, Peter Roger, avec nous. Salut, Elena. Ça va U filmu Filipa Garela pojavljuju se i njegova deca, Esther Lea i najpoznatiji među njima Louis Garel, reditelj i glumac. 
tumače potomke lutkarskog klana u ogoljenoj romanesknoj priči o ljubavi, tuzi, sećenju i zaboravu, držanju do tradicije ili koračenju ka budućnosti. Als ich vor drei Jahren mit Undine hier war, sind die Paula Bär und ich, die Darstellerin und ich, nach Paris gefahren und wir haben äh, dort äh, uns mit Covid infiziert. Und danach wurde überall in Europa der Lockdown ausgesprochen. Die jungen Menschen konnten nicht mehr sich treffen, keine Clubs, keine Unis, keine Kinos, keine Theaters, gar nichts. Und das über einen längeren Zeitraum. Und die hatte das Gefühl, als ob die die Macht Spaß daran hat, alles zuzumachen. Als ob, als ob sie Lust dazu haben, das Gemeinwesen zu zerstören. Und in der Zeit habe ich darüber nachgedacht, was ist das Gegenteil davon? Das ist der Sommerfilm. Das ist der Sommer, wo man sich verschwendet, wo man sich verliebt, wo man begehrt, wo man gemobbt wird, wo man gekränkt wird, wo man Mensch wird. Und dieser Sommerzeit ist das Gegenteil zu einer, einer Lock, eines Lockdowns. Und aus dem Grund, da ist äh, der Film entstanden. With great admiration, the award goes to Roter Himmel by Christian Petzer. I'm uh, very happy and very honored. Uh, so happy and so honored that I forgot my English. Vo važnosti drugo berlinsko priznanje, velika nagrada žirija, otišla je u ruke proslavljenog nemačkog reditelja Kristijana Petzolda za melodramu obojenu crnohumornim elementima Crveno nebo. Ovoga puta, kombinujući vodu i vatru, reditelj nastavlja saradnju sa nemačkom zvezdom Polom Bear, koje je prethodni Petzoldov film Undine doneo titulu Najbolje glumice u Berlinu. Toll! Hallo? Sag doch mal. Ja, wir werden nicht allein sein. Priča prati grupu karakterno različitih mladih intelektualaca, predvođenu introvertnim piscem. Njihovu dokolicu u izolovanoj vikendici, gde su na kraćem odmoru, prekinuće veliki šumski požar. Sam naslov filma Crveno nebo ukazuje na usporeni plamen neispunjenih obećanja među protagonistima, kao i na kompleksnu uzajemnu interakciju. U spretno složenom kamernom komadu, ovoga puta bez uobičajnih elemenata političkog, ekonomskog i istorijskog konteksta, Petzold suštinski istražuje mušku nesigurnost. Ja, ja, klar, klar, verstehe. Ja, ja, dann, dann melde ich mich einfach, wenn ich was gefunden habe, okay? You really bring to audience cinematic miracle between the burning forest and the sea on the one side and the burning forest and growing emotions on the other. Is there a metaphorical parallel? Yes, I, I thought I have uh, the same, uh, ich hatte dieselben, uh, dieselben Gedanken, dass eigentlich der Schriftsteller ja, mit, seinen, mit seinen Ängsten das Feuer schürt, ja, das Feuer, was er spürt in der Liebe und nicht rauslässt, kommt als äh, Forestfeuer, also als Wald, Waldbrand zurück. Das war mal ein Gedanke. Nadja? Das ist übrigens recht. After Rundine, when you gave a silver bearing performance at Berlinale as the titular character and urban historian and a mythical water spirit, you back into the new film with also realized on a classic uh, imagery to reinforce the claustrophobic premonition of smothering fires. Is there a link between two stories? What do you think? Um, I think, of course, there's a, the link between the two of them that you have elements that you can fight against. So, um, fire and water are so powerful and like the, can create the biggest nature catastrophes that you can think of. I think it underlines a bit the, the atmosphere the characters are in. So, in Undine, the water always is like waiting, sleeping, mysterious thing that you don't really know what it is in the fire in the woods brings it all in more tension or brings it more to to the point of okay what are we dealing with and the conflicts are getting higher and the temperature is getting higher so um, I think you can see it in a symbolic way as well 
Äh, ich soll dir sagen, dass es Essen gibt. Ja, ich komme gleich. Danke. Iako Berlinale više nije festival koji insistira na hollywoodskim zvezdama, bilo ih je na trgu Marlene Dietrich. Oskarovka Helen Miren došla je da promoviše film Golda, u kome glumi bivšu izraelsku premijerku Goldu Meir, dok je Steven Spielberg dobio počasnog zlatnog medveda za karijeru, koja je promenila istoriju kinematografije. What a great honor to welcome to the stage the vision that is Steven Spielberg. Ever. This honor has particular meaning for me because I'm a Jewish director. Jedinstvenu u poslednjih 60 godina zbog raznolikosti i pokretnih slika koje stvara, snimio je više od stotinu filmova i serija. Neverovatnom karijerom jedna od najuticajnijih ličnosti iz sveta filma, trostruki Oskarovac, očarao je generacije filmofila širom sveta i dao novo značenje bioskopu i fabrici snova. Tokom dobrog dela karijere Spielberg je analizirao svoju prošlost kako bi bolje shvatio strahove u sadašnjosti, o čemu svedoče Schindlerova lista Carstvo sunca spasavajući redova Rajana Amstad Lincoln Boja Purpura. Nakon ekranizacija svih mogućih priča, od fantastičnih avantura do ozbiljnih ratnih filmova, konačno je snimio film o sebi i svojoj porodici, Fabelmanovi. Making sure the lion don't eat my head, that is all. I just know that, you know, my mom and dad raised me to listen. They used to always say, the Hebrew word is to shema, to listen. And they always raised me that way. They said, you should listen more than you speak. And when you listen, you gather and you absorb and it really reframes you and you find your values that way. I certainly found all my values in listening to really some people much smarter than me. And I think some of that's come out in my movies, I hope. It's very, very important that directors can also write or at least associate themselves with writers because it's all about the story. How you communicate the story, everybody has a different style and you have to also hone your style. But to figure out what you want to say, that's the most important thing. If you have something to say, there'll be people through film who will listen. Mr. Secretary? You are to open a humanitarian corridor to the Third Army, Golda. We cannot allow. Dugo očekivani biografski film o jedinoj izraelskoj premijerki Goldi Meir, koju je oživala briljantna u filmu gotovo neprepoznatljiva Helen Mirren, donao je dašoga glamura na Belinale. Intrigantna istorijska drama izraelskog reditelja Gaja Nativa privukla je pažnju ne toliko kritikama koliko kontroverznom polemikom da li je Oskarovka trebalo da glumi jevrijsku premijerku s obzirom da nema jevrijsko poreklo. All those men will die. All of them. The destruction of the Third Army would force a from power. Vladavinu jedna od potpisnica deklaracije o izraelskoj nezavisnosti obeležio je Jom Kipurski rat, kada su Egipat i Sirija iznenada napali Izrael, nanevši mu teške gubitke, pre nego što su Izraelci okrenuli rat u svoju korist. Klasično režiran film sa dubinom potrebnom da se sagleda zapaljiva era oslikava period goldinog vođenja vlade na početku sukoba, kada glumačka ikona tumađi ikoničnu figuru, uspeh ili neuspeh filma zavisi od snage performansa. Helen Mirren sve postiže. Hvala 
Um, she was extraordinarily brave and with a commitment to um, Israel that was total. And in, in a weird way, it was a bit like playing Elizabeth I of England, in the sense of, not because she had the regality or anything, but her utter commitment to her country and to her nation, the absolute total, total um, dedication of her life to that um, was, um, and she achieved it with such, um, without being a sort of power mad sort of dictator type character at all. They would beat Jews to death in the street for fun. My father would hide us in the cellar. And we'd stay silent, hoping the killers would pass us by. Hollywoodsko pojačanje na trgu Marlene Dietrich bio je još jedan Oscarovac, glumac, reditelj i antiratni aktivista Sean Penn. Promovisao je svoj dokumentarni ratni zapis Supermoć koji je počeo da snima u Ukrajini nekoliko dana u oči početka rata. Otišao je na teren i uradio intervju sa Volodomirom Zelenskim. Art does have a significant role to play in building freedom, in executing freedom. And so, really, my experience, my life experience with this is that I don't really differentiate between uh, those, those parts of the way in which I hope to stand beside people who are fighting for freedom. Go a little bit faster. Na 73. Belinalu ustanovljena je nagrada za najbolju seriju. U konkurenciji ih je bilo sedam. Međutim, izdvojila se visokobudžetna žanrovska serija The Swarm, odnosno Roy, utemeljena na istoimenom bestselleru Franka Šecinga. Serija se sastoji od ukupno osam epizoda, a okupila je internacionalnu glumačku ekipu. Izvršni producent serije je Frank Dolger, poznat po Igri prestola. Ice worms. There is no species that can cover an area this big in just a few days. You think they're bite marks? Oh, it's gonna bite an orca. Come in this morning. I fever, acute diarrhea. Hold him down! I don't know how fast it's spreading. We need to get them away from the coast. Hey, did you see that? What the hell is that? What fascinated you in the Franz Schetzing Snow World Swarm? What was the key for you to create a TV adaptation? The key for me was that some of the events that Frank Schetzing wrote about 20 years ago, which I think he felt at that time were events that were going to be happening sometime in the future, actually are happening now. And I thought it was extraordinary that we've come to a point where We've done so much damage to the oceans, the oceans have no choice but to fight back. What we really want to dramatize was that we have put ourselves in a position that the oceans have no choice but to take us out, to kill us, to drive us away from the coastal areas in which we live. Um, at the, if we don't, that they themselves realize that they could perish and the creatures they uh, protect and live in their environment will perish. other people infected. None of them survived. The swarm is kind of a reminder that our planet could revenge if we continue to watch corporate crimes against nature. Could this sort of series have engaged and a sobering role? I think it's a series that asks us question en fait sur notre humilité face à l'inconnu, face au mystère de la nature. Et nous questionne aussi sur notre capacité à renouer avec, avec elle, à, à reconstruire le lien qu'on a brisé avec elle. 
je trouve ça bien, des, des, des fictions qui nous interrogent, pas que intellectuellement, puisqu'évidemment, euh, la, le pouvoir émotionnel dans cette série est très fort, notamment notre capacité à avoir de l'empathie aussi, que ce soit pour les autres êtres humains, mais aussi pour les autres espèces, et aussi pour, euh, pour cette chose, cette entité. Normally, we, we sort of see environmental uh, films and documentaries about oil drilling or, or, or you know, global pollution. warming, pollution, global warming. Uh, where I believe that The Swarm takes that next step is, is it talks about something that's slowly, uh, you know, coming up to the surface. No pun intended. But <laughs> slowly coming up to the surface in deep sea mining, uh, which people, it hasn't really become a, a point of discussion um, with the broader mass of people yet. Uh, but in, um, you know, in, in the world of science and, and marine biology, it's absolutely um, one of our greatest, um, biggest questions, biggest questions of our day. What I would say to any invading force I'd ask them to stop. Iako je većina filmova bila angažovana, zanimljivo je da je za sam početak Belinala odobrena romantična komedija britanske miljenice Rebeke Miller, čiji su filmovi Privatni život Pipeli i Megin Plan već prikazivani na Belinalu. Tek da predstavnici Fabrike Snova kao začin namame predstavnike medija zbog defilaja Anne Hathaway i Marise Tomei Pitera Dinklidža. Milarova u novom filmu došla je kod mene pripoveda o muzičaru ograničenom kreativnom blokadom koji je u potrazi za inspiracijom. Likovi koje je kreirala nisu se podvrgli društvenim stegama, već su se opredelili za sobstvenu inspiraciju. Pa je stoga ovaj film nalik magičnoj odi slobodi izraza u današnjem svetu. I don't think my character knows he's in a comedy, but... But no, it's Rebecca Miller and her script. It's beautiful. So I, I, and if, I'm glad we all found this such amazing cast and crew. The crew was incredible. And I got to walk to work in the morning because it was literally shot right in the neighborhood and where I live. So that was a blessing. Well, uh, I think that we Relax. should... Relax. I know. I know what I'm doing. But... See you guys. Well, it took years to write the script and get it right, and then there was the pandemic, and so it really feels like a very, very special occasion that we're all together, and putting this cast together is just a dream come true, because they're all so brilliant. Okay, honey, I have a patient. What's this one for? I'm starting you on fish oil. It's not going to give me fish burps, is it? Says no fish burps! Svetske premijere imali su na 73. Berlinskom festivalu, odakle su došli na 51. fest. Filmovi Opstanak dobrote i Totem takmičili su se za nagradu Zlatni medved. A ono što vezuje film proslavljenog australijskog reditelja Rolfa de Hira i meksičku rediteljku Lilija Viles su provokativne, snažne, dramske priče, od kojih je jedna postapokaliptična, a druga realistična. Opstarak Dobrote, čija je glavna junakinja pod imenom Crna žena ostavljena da umre usred pustinje, sumoran je distopijski pogled na čovečanstvo, lirska alegorija naslonjena na tradiciju aboriđina. Kako povratiti dostojanstvo starosedelaca Australije i osuditi nepravdu nanetu kolonizacijom, u slučaju Dehirovog filma univerzalna je priča koja se može dogoditi bilo gde i bilo kada.
Does history repeat uh, itself? Uh, is it intersection between Black Lives Matter and the COVID-like uh, uh, global pandemic in your film kind of uh, response to time we live in? When the film was being created in its full sense, uh, it was at that time. And the times always influence us to greater or less, lesser degree. Um, now, my starting point creatively was uh, an image had come to me and didn't want to go away and demanded to be the beginning of the film in some way. And that was a man in a cage on a trailer in the desert. Uh, and I didn't understand where that image had come from or why it was there, but I accepted after a few days that it was not going to go away. Now, once you have that image and you have those times that, that were current, they're going to play against each other and with each other uh, when, when the evolution of the script is happening. Dragulj film o rasnoj mržnji i netrpeljivosti je žena na Turščik, koja je prvi put stala ispred filmske kamere, a čija gluma nikoga ne ostavlja ravnodušnim. Mojemi Hussein simbolizuje crne žene, koje su često na marginama društva. You growing up in Congo, there were no cinemas. Because of war in your country, you lived in the refugee camp. Did you see bit of yourself in black woman character in this film? In Congo, there are cinemas, but I never been to cinema because I wouldn't afford. That's one thing. So if I saw myself in a, in a, in a black woman, yes, because my life experience it's similar to the black woman trying to survive. So all my life, I was trying to survive. I, I, came from, I come from a very poor family. We were struggling to even to have food in my family. And I didn't grow up with my uh, biological parents. So living with people who are not biologically relating to you, you can imagine how stressful it is. So I was trying to survive. And uh, the way of surviving there was to be, make sure you, I'm kind to everyone, trying to be kind. And I survived just like that. And thus is connecting it to the um, black woman. I would see myself in, in black woman. Editeljka Lila Viles pravo je filmsko otkriće iz Meksika. Pažnju je privukla debitanskim filmom Sobarica, meksičkim kandidatom za Oscara 2020. Sa porodičnom ansambl dramom Totem, svojevrsnom studijom karaktera, konkurisala je za Zlatnog medveda. Intimnu porodičnu priču prenala je na film u kome je fokus usmeren ka likovima unutar tipičnog latinoameričkog doma, na njihove odnose i uzburkana unutrašnja stanja. Pogled na život i smrt predučen je iz vizure sedmogodišnje devojčice koja univerzum kreira svojim pogledom, a u čiji lik je rediteljka utkala lična duboka iskustva. For me was super important to to dig in this uh, childhood, no? that it's uh, this girl, no? that is Sol, no? uh, the name of, of the character. There's a, a phrase in Spanish that is uh, infancia's destino. No? For me, it was nice to return and, and see that girl no? with her own point of view and going to this chaos that sometimes his families are like that. No? How 
did you come up with the idea for the title of the film, Totem? Totem has had this particularity that are, um, are singularity but also communion, no? are uh, symbols of a family. Program Belinale Classic obeležile su ponovne premijere osam filmskih klasika digitalno restauriranih. Selekciju je otvorio Goli ručak Davida Kronenberga snimljen 1991. Nakon Besnila, videodroma, Zone smrti, Muve i drugih filmova, slavni reditelj bio je inspirisan romanom Williama Barrowsa za koji se govorilo da ga je nemoguće ekranizovati. 30 feet tall in living color. Cover your eyes, America. Run for your lives. You're a mock man, Bill. You're just gonna have to leave town. Tourist class, I'm afraid. Don't be such a pansy. Be forceful. Hurt me. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. That is a great sentence. My God, Joan. You're acting like a full-fledged junkie. And it's bug powder, for Christ's sake. I wouldn't use a Clark Nova myself. Too demanding. Demanding? Oh, come on. We're both writers. We know what we're talking about. Well, I'm new to this game to tell you the truth. If I get blocked again, I'll let you try my Martinelli. Exercise your telepathic sensitivity. I still have and there'll be no smell, no discoloration. It's like an agent. An agent who's come to believe his own cover story. But who's in there, hiding, in a larval state. Just waiting for the proper moment to hatch out. Tokom 73. Belinala često su se čuli komentari i kritičara da li ste razumeli koncept ovogodišnjeg festivala. Osim angažovanosti u kojoj je ostao dosledan, mnogi festivalski segmenti bili su zamagljeni. Berlin više nije ono što je bio. Što zbog pauze inicirane pandemijom, što zbog promjena na samom čelu festivala. Tako da pamtimo i bolje dane Berlinskog filmskog festivala.